Peace be with you. And welcome to Feste Laun here in our Danish church. We usually celebrate Feste Laun with a church service, and then we go downstairs to beat the barrel. Slå katten af tønden hedder det på dansk. And back in the old days, there was an actual cat in the barrel. But I think we're going to save the cat this year. Back in the old days, the cat was a symbol of evil. Whoops. And you would beat the barrel so that you would beat the evil out of the world. But nowadays, we simply just say the creed together and we renounce the devil and all his works and all his ways. And in the barrel, we find lots of candy. We don't put a cat inside. What we do is we fill the barrel with candy for the kids. Today is not only Festelaun, Lent, uh, today is also Valentine's Day. And if you haven't sent out your Valentine's cards yet, well, then it's too late. But don't despair. You can simply stick to the old Danish tradition and send out Gekkebreu. Gekkebreu is an ancient old Danish tradition. It goes back several hundred years. And we even uh, have an example of Kongresjenten Fjerde, uh, who sent a special letter to one of his loved ones. In the old uh, days, uh, the letters were called Benebreu because they were tied up with a string. And you would write a little letter and write in a little poem or a rhyme. And then you would tie it up with a string and leave it uh, somewhere where your loved one uh, would be later that day. It could be you would sneak into uh, their bedroom and leave it on their pillow, or you could leave it at their place at the dinner table. And then they would find the letter, and if they untied the string, they committed themselves to your wooing or courtship, or they committed themselves to host a party uh, or whatever you wrote in, in, in there letter. Those special letters uh, became later known as Gekkebreu. And that name refers to the snowdrop in Danish known as Invintakik. It's also a word play on at drive gek med hinanden, um, have some fun. And you cut out uh, a nice little uh, paper cut and you write a little funny poem and then you send it to somebody and they have to guess who the letter is from. So you do not sign it. 
you just sign it with little dots. And of course you can do all kinds of fancy cuts and you stick a little uh, snowdrop to your letter. And what happens then is that the person who receives the letter has to guess who it's from. If they cannot guess it, by Easter morning, they owe you an Easter egg. If they do guess that you sent the letter, well, then you owe them an Easter egg on Easter morning. So even though we cannot get together and celebrate Festalown as we usually do this weekend, well, you can have fun at home. Start writing your Giga bio. All you need is a pair of scissors, a pen, pick a snowdrop, and get some paper. Have fun. We always celebrate Lent by dressing up in special costumes because how else will people know who we are on the inside if we don't show off on the outside? If you truly feel like a superhero or a princess, well, then you need to dress up a little bit so that people, other people can, can truly see who you are. And even the Lord himself once uh, got dressed up in a, in a special costume. It was when Jesus was baptized. He was not baptized in a fancy baptismal font like ours. Jesus was baptized in the Jordan River. And on that day, the Lord appeared so that everybody could see him. He appeared in spirit, but how do you see a spirit with your own eyes? The moment Jesus came up out of the baptismal waters, the heavens were opened and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. And lo, a voice from heaven was saying, This is my Son, the Beloved, with whom I am well pleased. This is the word of the Lord. And now we have all heard it. So onward then, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now let us all confess our Christian faith. We renounce the devil and all his works and all his ways. We believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. We believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is sitting at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come again to judge the living and the dead. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life 
everlasting. Amen. And now let us all pray. Lad os sammen bede vort fædervår. Fædervår, du som er i himlene, helliget vort er dit navn, komme dit rige. Ske din vilje, som i himlen, således også på jorden. Giv os i dag vort daglige brød, og forlad os vores skyld, som også vi forlader vores skyldnere. Og led os ikke ind i fristelse, men fri os fra det onde. Til dit er riget, og magten og æren i al evighed. Amen. Herren velsigne dig og bevare dig. Herren lader sit ansigt lyse over dig og være der nådig. Herren løfte sit årsyn på dig og give dig fred. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glædelig fastelavns søndag.